All right, guys, you got the front one on. Is that okay? Yeah, it's just gonna chooch through battery. Uh, do you have to take the bed off or anything? No, no, we'll just get a piece of plywood and like screw it, at, like literally self tap it to the bed of the truck. I don't think oh, we even need to do that. If we just lay it down, it'll be fine. Yeah, but I don't want to, if you gas the snowmobile too hard, it might shoot the wood out. True, maybe we'll- Nate. Oh. Maybe we'll put a couple butt. Come on, man. We're gonna take this sled, snowmobile, whatever you wanna f call it. The snow machine. To a place with snow in the back of the truck. But let's go take a look at this. Yeah, we, gotta, we have some stuff to do here. Basically, we have to put a piece of plywood down in the truck bed as to not ruin the carbides of the sled. Even though pulling it into the, like riding the sled on the pavement to get it into the back of the truck is gonna ruin it. Are you gonna try and take it up like boat trailer? Oh, I'll take that up boat trailer all day. All right, well, he's got shit in here, but. <laughs> I, I cleaned it oh, out. As ramp? you can yeah. see, as you can see right here, we need to uh, put something there to uh, hold the. Dave, we're gonna be sledding. careful with this hanging down. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. I drove that. all the way back. I'm gonna catch that in the wheel. Yeah. YOLO. Well, we gotta get a piece of plywood. Which is going to be $95. Yeah, I looked it up. It's 86 bucks for Jeez. that treated sheet. Jeez. Yeah, inflacion. Well, we're going to Lowe's. Are we taking this? We got to take this. Yeah, we, we got to get the ramp out. All right. Well, you I'll, I'll, just fucking... Oh, you're going to take the 6 yeah, 0? Oh, I guess we're taking the 6 Okay. Well, let's get the f out of here then. Don't eat it. I knew I should have worn my boots today. Did the wood go up even more than when I looked yesterday? It's only 15 bucks right there. Yeah, right. Why don't we just get bags of concrete and make a bed? Because I don't want it to wait. Dude, I got Toyota Camry tires on the thing. Good thing we're looking for the treated stuff. Nate just gauging the atmosphere in the 6 0. Yeah, I don't know anything about wood either. I'm just looking for the expensive one because that's probably going to be treated. It only says water repellent. Just put it in the bed of a truck that's all f***ed up. So you think that the $60 one would probably be good enough? Well, we ditched right. the cart. Where's that? Remember that green saw we had? What? The green skill saw? The Ryobi one? Do you know where that is? Like the yeah, I'm gonna have to cut like the fender wells out of this. That one's mine, I don't know. Somewhere in the shop, hopefully. No, but I'll cut the wheel wells out, worst case. They're already gone. Yeah, and it's like super tiny tires, so it's not like the tire's gonna hit it, yeah. All right, I got the tripod set up here so that I can kind of do something like this. Just get all this stuff situated elsewhere. Why hot, are you flexing your hot pocket? Hot fuck it. Maximum load. 1500 pounds, dude. Hot There's the fing two inch ball. Uh, you, you were the one that probably put it in there. We should probably take this off. Plastic bullshit. I'm about to drill right through this tailgate so I can rip it off. Long bolts. To hold the ramps down. Just rip it off. Why? Just rip it off. Don't you have that tool? No. Here, go ahead. Rip this off. It's probably gonna hurt. I mean, I'm not popping this. It's not that bad. You're blocking the shot. No man. See? Go get the. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now I can just drill right through the bed or the tailgate to put the like. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not on the other side. You don't even need to. You could just use a wing nut and a long skinny bolt that'll go all the way through. Yeah, if you weld the nut on the other side, you can just put the bolt down and not have to hold it. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get to that point. <laughs> Whose mirror is that? That's a good mirror. I don't know, off of a Jeep maybe? Oh, is that mom Jeep? Is it? That might be mom Jeep. Remember the mirror fell off and then the tree fell on it? Yeah. Let me sweep all this like residue out of the back of this thing. Those leaves are really gonna rock your head out. Yeah, but I don't wanna just have them trapped underneath there. 
Yeah, you don't want rock. <laughs> How is this suspension so soft? Is it is it broken? No, it's good. Remember how it used to be mad stiff? Yeah, try the tires. Well, you casually finish your hot rod, dude. I got one more in the microwave. Why do they call it a microwave? Does it actually send like microwaves? It definitely sends microwaves. I'm making a mess. Yeah, well. I'm not the one that threw a bunch of garbage back here, AJ. You and Nate be throwing all your trash in the back of the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. That should be good enough. Show you guys what's going on back here. So, I might want to weld a support right here. That's the other bed mount right there. So, nah, too much effort, to be honest. Well, this one's burnt. Well, let's get this plywood out of Nate's truck. Well is about to come out. Dude, I mean this is pretty okay. I'm gonna have to cut the end off though. Your push. It's this much too long to leave in here permanently. Yeah. But if you did what I said. And do what? Cut it and then put door hinges so you can flap it up and then flap it back out. Why do I need to flap it up though? Then you close your tailgate like when it's not in there. Oh, you mean that last piece, this extension? Yeah. I see what you mean now. I suppose it's not, it's a terrible idea. You did a horrible job explaining it though. So these are the black ice ramps. Mint, dude. Yeah. And then this little extension piece goes like here. Just ignore all the garbage underneath it. This is what we're looking like here. I feel like you don't even need to bolt it if you just run a ratchet strap from right here. Yeah, it comes with them. You see it dangling? Oh, well then you're good. You don't even need to bolt it. Don't I'm just worried that one day I'm gonna goose it by accident and the ramp is gonna shoot out and I'm gonna flip over backwards. It's like my biggest fear with these. That's why I wanna run a long bolt through here with just a wing nut so that there's like zero chance of this getting shot out. All right, the thing up right now. Well, we got to secure the wood down to the bed. Do we have self tappers? Long. Well, where's the saw? Let's cut this down real quick. I'll see if Brent's got one. All right. Well, we're gonna Let's cut this. We're gonna cut it here so that I can shut this when the sled's not back there. And then maybe we just self tap it here, down to this clean metal, and then up there onto my welded nonsense up there. And we should be good. Honestly. I love how you're holding a huge ass tripod on like. I mean, there's a no. Five ounce. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Wait. Is there? I need a. Is there a good enough reflection somewhere so that they could? Here, we'll use the Lexus as a mirror. Oh yeah, I'm literally holding a huge. It's like a five foot tall tripod, with a tiny GoPro on top. Idiot. It's working, mint though, dude. We're getting super stable footage. Well, let me see if it's cordless sawzalls in there. Yep, and we will test the black ice ramps here it says black ice maximum load 1500 pounds i got this beautiful setup here off a of marketplace the guy sent me the ad he paid 650 for it and uh yeah i got it for 400 so allegedly only used five times we'll see if i could beat that before the winter's over can i use the sled more than five times i think i will Sketchy. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. Sketchy city. Oh, watch the black ice ramps, dude. Good enough, dude. A couple self tappers. Mean. They 
literally want you strapping this to the hitch area. Oh my god, that one's torn. I missed it. I didn't film it, but AJ just walked up this like a ladder. Oh no. What is this? What? Screw to, dude. This metal right here. Dude, this ain't long enough, dude. You don't have longer ones? No. We gotta get longer ones. No. Get screw it down to the back only then. YOLO. Send it down right here like a lot of times. I don't think those are long enough, dude. Dude, they're good, dude. We'll see. There's no way. Oh, yeah, dude. See, AJ's big poppy, dude. Just get shit done. The wood's gonna f warp so bad. Oh, that didn't do Jack Dilly. Yo, oh, this thing's flying off. <laughs> it's there for moral support. This thing is flying off on the highway. That one didn't do nothing. There's two. There's two. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. We'll screw it down more when I get longer self tappers. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the ramp up and then clean this mess up underneath it. And then uh, yeah, we'll load the sled up and maybe go ride it. Oh my god, AJ. Alright, that's jeez, dude. All right, I need longer self-tappers, 100%. That wood is going to snap because of the good. way that it's shaped. It's good. All right, well, let me clean this mess up, and then we will resume in one second for you guys. This is so sketchy looking, though. We'll see how ganja and sketchy this is. Because so far, it's pretty ganja and pretty sketchy looking. Where'd you get this ramp set up? Marketplace. Sit. You heard that grind? Yeah. It's like no front wheel drive. Oh, he almost got it stuck over there. That's straight rear wheel drive. Okay. Ramp set up. Now I just gotta. I'm gonna drag the sled and kind of turn it this way. So that I just really don't want to ruin the track and the skis and all this other stuff. It's heavy, dude. Yeah, it's heavy as <laughs> All right, well, I'd be lying if I said I was uh, not scared. I'm definitely scared of eating shit right now. They're all good. Just don't uh, launch the ramps like out under you. Yeah, I'm gonna eat shit publicly on YouTube. First time loading a sled ever. There's a first time for everything, sonny boy. I'm not even gonna pretend like that was like bad. Yeah, the ramps didn't move at all. Well, the wood is perfect, so let's go ahead and just help me push it. I should have rode it up a little bit more so I could get this ramp out. Sick. Figure out where these are gonna go. This side is probably a lot stronger. Yeah. All right. Well, let me get these ramps in there, maybe strap those down, and uh, yeah, let's go hit some trails. It honestly, I never dro drove this thing with like these wheels on it and the welded. It feels nice, dude. It, the brakes okay. are nice and yeah. like, it feels like if you, if you close your eyes while driving, if you never looked at the outside, like I blindfolded you, put you in the truck and then you drove it. You think it's a decent F-250? Yeah. But then you get outside. It's like, You're like, oh man, yeah, this thing's going to fall apart yeah. on the way there. Froden. Yeah, check the back, dude. She's still in there. Accompanied by Ryan Bell, dude. He got the fresh cut going. Got the fresh cut. I mean, if not, you can just ride down there and go up the Figure hill. Figure out how to get up in there. Because it's literally, yeah. it's literally right on that turn that there's a, uh, that's the hill that we were turning. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. Well, he's got the ramp pretty much set up. We'll do the AJ. It's kind of sketchy, no? It's real sketchy. This whole situation is sketchy. No. Like, I'm scared to do it without a helmet. What do you mean? 
dude. You can't fall that far. Is, is, front, is the front brake on? No. You're good. You're good, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. Am I lined up with this? Yeah. I have to stand on this one. What am I? Oh, the ramp lifted right there? Yeah. Yeah, just send it. This is good? Yeah. He's going up a little side trail because this is too muddy. You wearing the right shoes for this, bud? Nope. What is he stuck already? Dude, thing kind of cooks, dude. Looks a little bumpy up there. <laughs> Dude. Does it look fast? Yeah. Because it feels it, fast. It looks, it looks really bumpy up there. Yeah, I'm like, I'm literally riding it like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Nate didn't scam me. It runs good, <laughs> but it still needs the carb boots done probably before next winter. But, dude, whatever these V-Force bullshits are, he said it's way faster than a normal 700, dude. This thing will glue you to the Yeah, it, it looks fast, dude. Yeah. And then right, right when it starts getting whoops, like, you could be sitting and fucking mad it, and right when you start hitting bumps, you automatically go like this. Like, yeah. Like, you don't have to think about it. Like, the sled will bump you into the air, and you're already stiff on your yeah. legs. Dude, these are fucking slept on. This is probably the most fun machine slash vehicle. Well, I don't know. The S13 yeah, but dude, was also, pretty good. It's fucking nice and warm out today. True. Imagine do, doing doing five. Yeah, like and you're going that fast, you're yeah. fed. Well I'd be I'd have a helmet on, goggles, probably gloves. Well, what is this thing? A MXZ seven hundred V Force three yada yada yada. No clue. I don't know either, but this thing rips, dude. <laughs> I can't imagine like a turbo eight fifty or whatever they are. You'd have to like be on a on a lake, dude. Like Yeah, you'd do it. A hundred. Yeah, you need like either a lake or an open field to just go. I wasn't looking at the speedo. How fast was I coming up the hill? Forty, probably. I don't 50? know. It looked pretty f quick. It felt quick, dude. <laughs> you know, look, Brian Bell's scared, dude. He's standing all the way back there. Oh, also these ramps. Yeah, they work great. Ten out of ten for marketplace find. So, look at this whole setup here. The baconator, the sled, all of this is used. 
You don't need an expensive truck or an expensive sled to go out and have fun. Now imagine, like I said, if it was me, you, and Ryan Bell, and we were all on one of these. And we all had Baconators and yeah. used sleds. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. All right, sick. Well, let's strap everything down, head back. Well, that was really fun. This is the end of the video. Uh, don't forget to check out BS Gaming. AJ might be streaming on there later tonight or whatever.